Welcome to Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. We're here just to have a little bit of fun and to see some animals. Join us and explore the aquarium. What? <laughs> That's Gallifreyan, huh? Here we are at the aquarium. I don't know. <laughs> so they've got this structure here. This was U2's stage and U2 donated it to the aquarium. Um, a lot of people aren't sure. They're going to use it for some educational thing. They've also got this little playground here. Uh, that wasn't open last time we came, so it looks like they've opened the playground a little bit. Area. I just totally noticed that this is a ship. I did. I never noticed that before. Uh, where do you guys want to go? The reef. Okay. Look at the megalodon jaws. <laughs> Look at the fish with the eye bubble on top of their head. I found Nemo! Oh yeah, there is a with that. If Korg from Thor Ragnarok was a fish, this would be him. What just happened? One just fell. One of those. Oh, perhaps just fell. Oh. He's climbing up the wall and he just fell. Yeah. It's really cool when he goes across the glass. I love octopus, they're really cool. He's just sleeping now. Or resting, maybe he's waiting to attack. I don't know. That plant keeps like hitting him. Maybe it's like a massage. <laughs> <laughs> Before COVID, you could touch them, but right now they won't let you touch them. That one that was flopping wasn't the same one as last time. I don't think so. The last last time, the one was the one that flopped was huge. Maybe you got tired of trying to get people's attention. <laughs> starting to come out, but maybe that's all he was going to do. It just flipped around. A mantis ship, and he looks just like a praying mantis. Oh, the shrimp tail. His punches are powerful. Yep, as powerful as a bullet. The original Superman. <laughs> Oh, there's a diver in there? I can't. Oh, right there. They're cleaning. This is what, down on the bottom. This is one of my favorite places in this aquarium. I'm not supposed to be stopping. Thank you for visiting Love the Living Planet Aquarium. divers and they're cleaning. Maybe, maybe they're just hiding food around. Look at the one floating right there. Oh look, there's my friend the turtle. There's always a turtle there. <laughs> they have 
this big viewing area here that once you walk through the tunnel you can go and see all the animals and stuff the animals the fish the rays Discover Utah. I like how they made it like you're in a slot canyon. It's not in there? These are brine shrimp. You find them in the Great Salt Lake. Sometimes you can get them and they call them sea monkeys. You can have them at home. Time to go to South America. That was a fast trip. Electric eel. I have this. It tells you whether it's resting, hunting, or stunning. This is one of my favorite parts. This is an anaconda, and this one's actually a rather small anaconda. But I think anaconda are really cool, as long as I don't have to meet them in, like, real life. <laughs> yeah, that would be scary. Yeah. And here we got piranha nuts. Piranha nuts. Piranhas. Look, they also like... <laughs> Apparently, the anaconda is 14 feet long and growing. That's a big anaconda. Hi, it's me, Tori from the future. I just wanted to quick stop in and say, after I showed you the clip about the four, the anaconda being 14 feet, we met up with an employee, and he actually told us that the anaconda is 18 feet long. Last they measured it, and that it's a female, and she females can grow up to about 20 feet long. So she's big. She's a big one. Anyway. I just wanted to make sure you guys see These are the river giants. They're so big. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. I need to... That guy is huge. Was he there before? I think so. I don't know. These guys are big. Why don't you guys sit down in front of them and we'll show them how how big they really are compared to you guys. I would not want to be in the river when one of these was there. It's bigger than your dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm about six feet tall, so we're going to take another one about me. Wow. And that was just the last time we measured her. You can imagine it's not easy to uh, take a fish out to measure her all the time. So. Yeah. We're moving up in the rainforest. Up to the canopy. That guy had a fish skeleton. He had a what? Here we go. 
find the... Oh, it's up in its box. They have birds that just fly around in here. Toucan. 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 And you got the sloth. He likes the log. This is the most we've seen of the sloth. Ever. <laughs> the light's not very good. You can't see its colors. Yeah. Maybe if I come over here a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. There you go. Really pretty. I found him. They move so fast it's hard to see their names on their Did you really? Look at all these treats. I think we're gonna get us a sweet treat from the cafe here. We ended up getting some sweet treats. We got this brownie. Hold your hand up by the brownie so that you can see how big these things are. They're so big. They're so big. All right, here's our food. I got a pretzel. Kendra got a brownie, and we got a cookie, and they're gonna split it and share. They're really big. You guys are gonna have to let me know what. You, let us so know. Tell me what you thought of your food. You gotta talk loud. I mean, the brownie was really good, but the <laughs> the the cookie. I didn't. I didn't like the cookie. What about you? What do you think? I like the pretzel. I do like the pretzel though. They're really good. <laughs> yeah, I think we I think we liked the pretzel. Yeah. And the cheese was like real cheese. It was it was really good. It wasn't like the big stuff you would get at a ballpark or something. Yeah. Yeah. A nice right. like most things you exit out the gift shop. So we're gonna head up to the gift shop and look around for a little bit. They've got a lot of plushies. 
that are fun. It's Daddy Shark. What are you sending me? Oh, those are cute. Dog a dog. Mermaid cookbook. Those cute little glass figurines. The jellyfish glow in the dark. You've heard of lava lamp. How about a jellyfish lamp? <laughs> I got a little otter. I like otters. Oh, the cute little sloth. My kids, they like the plushies. <laughs> they also have added some new things. Some hats and some file <laughs> Bath bombs, soap, some water bottles. We got some jewelry over here. Pins. Look at these funny socks that look, the fish will be eager to put. <laughs> that is great. What are Lots these? of other socks. They're push pins. Oh, oh my gosh. Maybe pickles. They're funny. Those are funny. Look at the little small hoppers. <laughs> We're going to have to look into those internships. Yeah. Then we got some ornaments. All right, that's it for us at the aquarium. It was fun. What'd you guys think? It was, it was fun. fun. It was so much fun without Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we had a good time. Um, my biggest complaint is that people don't really social distance there. At this, you know, during the time of COVID, that's. Kind of a big deal. I wish they they had that announcement during the shark, um, the shark tunnel. Uh, and in the gift shop, it said it had a small sign that said. Like, yeah, there were signs everywhere, but the only yeah. like physical announcement was during the shark tunnel. And yeah, I think they should they should have that a little bit more because people didn't follow that at all. <laughs> I think the worst place was the penguins. There were a lot of people in that area. Oh yeah. So. But we found Loki, so. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have anything else you want to add? <laughs> no. All right. Nope. Well, thanks for joining us and have fun storming the castle. It's me again. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, be, for, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any, um, any new videos that I might put out. If you liked this video, um, and want to see more places in Utah, please leave a comment below on where you would want me to go, where you want to see, and I will try to um, get to some of those places. Utah's a pretty awesome place, and I'd love to share it with you. All right, go out and storm that castle. <laughs>